Hello students, welcome to IE. In this video, we are going to discuss about the Wilson current mirror circuit. So first thing we need to understand what is the use of the Wilson current mirror circuit. Why do we need the Wilson current mirror circuit? So previously, we have done some current mirror circuit modifications and all the current mirror circuits that we have studied earlier was either for the low value of beta or the high value of beta. But here, the Wilson current mirror circuit will be valid for any value of beta. For low value of beta, you can use the Wilson current mirror circuit as well as for the high value of beta, you can also use the Wilson current mirror circuit. So let's get see what is Wilson current mirror circuit. The circuit of the Wilson current mirror is like this. Here, there are three transistors Q1 and Q2. This Q1 and Q2 are mass transistors. And there is another transistor Q3 which has a value of beta is beta 3. And Q2 and Q1 are having a value of beta, beta is beta. And the I reference current is here and this is the I out current. So now, first of all, let us denote the current components of this circuit. What are the current components? The first current component for the Q1 transistor we can see that here, my current will be IC. Similarly, the current will be here, IE. Similarly, the current here will be the IB. Since Q1 and Q2 are match transistor, so the value of IB here will be same as this. So this is IB. Similarly, here, IE current. Similarly, here also the current is IC. So now, you can see IC, IB, all current are given. Now you can see the Q3 transistor. So what will be the current? So let us denote the current here as IB3 current. Let us denote the current here IE3 current and let us denote the current here IC3 current. So this is the current component and here the I reference current is coming. Now let us use some KCL equation. So let us first use the KCL at this node. So if I use the KCL at this node, what will be the equation? So equation will be I reference current, I reference equals to IB plus IC. So equals to IB3 equals to IB3 plus IC. So IB3 plus of IC. So now, ye wale pe node ho gaya. Ab, ये जो IE3 करंट है इस IE3 करंट को क्या लिख सकता हूं सो so, IE3 करंट कट स्टार्ट IE3 करंट विल बी IC3 प्लस IB3 सो so, IC3 प्लस IB3 नाउ Another thing we can also see that it has a beta of beta 3. So beta 3 agar hota hai, to isko mein transfer kar sakta hoon. Kyunki IC value is equals to beta into IB. Okay. So that means we can transfer the value of IC3 in terms of IB3. So what will be the value? So IC will be beta 3 into IB3 plus IB3. So if you take out IB3 common, then it will be IB3 into beta 3 plus 1. So from this equation, I can see that IE3 value is this one. So let us name this equation as equation 2 and this is equation 1. Another way we can also represent this IE3. This I3 can be represented another way. If we apply the KCL at this node, so I3 will be IC plus IB. Now, this I3 can be represented in another way also. For that, we have to apply KCL at this point. So, if we apply KCL at this point, so how much current will come What is the current value? Either IB, either IB. So, that means it is 2 of IB plus IC equals to I3. So I can write that IE3 
is equals to 2 of IB plus IC. 2 of IB plus IC. So, this equation came. Now, this first equation this first equation I will data put in So, we have I reference is equals to I B3 plus I C. What is the value of IB3? IB3 value kahan se aayenge? So from this equation. Ye wale equation se IB3 ka value mein yaha pe put karunga. To IB3 will be IE3 divided by 1 plus beta 3. So it will be I E3 divided by 1 plus beta 3 plus IC. Now what is IE3? IE3 ko value yaha se aayenge. Either se me IE3 ka value put karunga. So that means it will be 2 into IB plus IC divided by 1 plus beta 3 yaha pe IC. Now I can write this thing in another way also. Here it is 2 of IB divided by 1 plus beta 3. Or yaha pe main IC common le sakta hu. So if I take common IC, then it will be 1 by 1 plus beta 3 plus 1. Ye wala enge. Now, what is this value of IB? IB can be written as IC by beta. So I can write it as 2 by 1 plus beta 3 into IC current divided by beta in place of IB. Or IC 1 by 1 by 1 plus beta 3 plus 1. Now look at this equation. So in this equation we can take common of IC. If I take common of IC, so what will be the equation? So IC current if I take common, then here you have 2 niche hoga beta into 1 plus beta 3 uske saath plus here you have if I do the LCM it will be 1 plus beta 3 here you have 1 plus beta 3 upar jayega 1 1 plus 2 so 2 plus beta 3 so this will be the equation now if you simplify this equation you can see we can find the value of I reference. So what will be the value of I reference right now? The I reference value can be written as do the LCM. So here you have IC and LCM mein kya hoga? beta into 1 plus IB3. So here you LCM mein beta into 1 plus IB3. And here you have 2. So here I have 2. Likha. Uske baad, isko main beta se multiply karunga kyunki yahan pe beta nahi hai so it will come out to be 2 beta plus beta into beta 3 so this is the equation of i reference we have got right now now let us look at this q3 transistor ye q3 transistor mein mera beta kitna hai beta 3 okay so from this here I can write that IC equals to beta 3 into IB3 according to this. So here I can write that IC 3 is equals to beta 3 into this IB3. So beta 3 into IB3. So IB3. So that means this IC3 is nothing but this I out. So I can write it as I out also. I out beta 3 into I B 3. So here wala equation aya. Now look at this equation. Ye jo equation hai. In this equation what is written? I of E 3 is equals to I B 3. And I B 3 will be this one. IB3 yaha se mein nikal sakta hu. So from this equation I can find the value of IB3. Or this IB3 will be put here. So I can write it as I out 
डिवाइडेड बाय बीटा थ्री इनटू बीटा थ्री प्लस वन बीटा थ्री प्लस वन सो व्हाट इज दिस आई थ्री आई थ्री इज नथिंग बट टू आई बी प्लस आई सी सो लेट अस राइट टू आई बी प्लस आई सी इज इक्वल्स टू beta 3 plus 1 divided by beta 3 into i out. Now, ये जो i b है, इस i b को मैं क्या लिख सकता हूँ? i c by beta. So it can be written as i c by beta into i plus i c equals to beta 3 plus 1 divided by beta 3 into i out. ये मैं लिख सकता हूँ. So now ये जो इक्वेशन है इसमें से आई सी कॉमन हो सकता है सो आई कैन टेक आई सी कॉमन सो इफ आई टेक आई सी कॉमन आई कैन राइट इट एस टू बाई बीटा प्लस वन और यहां पे मेरा बीटा थ्री प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाय बीटा थ्री और ये वाला मेरा आई आउट सो नाउ आई कैन पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ आई सी फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन ये वाले इक्वेशन से मैं आई सी निकालूंगा फिर मैं पुट करूंगा सो so, IC का वैल्यू क्या होगा IC का वैल्यू आपका आएंगे I रेफरेंस और ये वाले डिनोमिनेटर न्यूमिनेटर पे आ जाएगा सो दैट इज बीटा इंटू वन प्लस बीटा थ्री वन प्लस बीटा थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई टू प्लस टू बीटा प्लस बीटा इंटू बीटा थ्री ये वाला इक्वेशन आएंगे और इसके साथ आपका आएगा टू बाय बीटा यहां पे टू बाय बीटा प्लस वन उसके साथ बीटा थ्री प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाय बीटा थ्री इनटू आई आउट ये वाले इक्वेशन आएंगे सो नाउ यू कैन सी ये जो बीटा वन प्लस बीटा थ्री है वन प्लस बीटा थ्री ये वाला वन प्लस बीटा थ्री कट आउट हो जाएगा नाउ डू दिस एल so if the LCM is done, I can write I reference यहाँ पे मेरा beta यहाँ पे one plus beta three नीचे है आपका two beta plus beta into beta three if I do the LCM it will come out to be two plus beta divided by beta equals to आपके पास है beta three plus one divided by beta three और ये वाला मेरा आई आउट नाउ फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन आई कैन कट दिस बीटा दिस बीटा वन प्लस बीटा थ्री वन प्लस बीटा थ्री सो व्हाट विल बी द इक्वेशन राइट नाउ आई आउट क्या आया व्हाट विल बी द आई आउट सो आई आउट का जो वैल्यू आएंगे आई आउट दिस बीटा थ्री मल्टीप्लाई हो जाएगा यहां पे, सो बीटा थ्री को मल्टीप्लाई किया मैंने उसके साथ है टू प्लस बीटा ओके बीटा थ्री इंटू टू प्लस बीटा नीचे आएंगे ये वाला टू प्लस टू बीटा प्लस बीटा इंटू बीटा थ्री उसके साथ मेरा आई रेफरेंस उसके साथ मेरा आई रेफरेंस सो यू कैन सी वी हैव फाउंड अ इक्वेशन दैट टू प्लस बीटा इंटू बीटा थ्री टू बाई टू प्लस टू बीटा इंटू बी टू बीटा इंटू बीटा थ्री इंटू आई रेफरेंस सो दिस इज द फाइनल इक्वेशन अब दिस आउटपुट करंट ये जो आउटपुट करंट है इसका फाइनल इक्वेशन यहां पे आया है सो दिस इज द फाइनल इक्वेशन सो इन दिस इक्वेशन यू कैन सी दैट मेरा जो आई आउटपुट करंट हुआ दैट आई आउटपुट करंट इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ किसके ऊपर फंक्शन है बीटा का फंक्शन है बीटा थ्री का फंक्शन है बीटा का फंक्शन बीटा थ्री का फंक्शन एंड आई रेफरेंस का भी फंक्शन है एंड ऑल दिस वैल्यूज आर नोन all this value will be provided in the examination so if you know this value you put the value then you will get the value of i out and this circuit will be valid for all the values of beta either beta will be small you can use this circuit if beta is high you can use this circuit so this is the wilson current meter circuit where you can see that it can be used as a current meter circuit for any value of the beta beta is high low that doesn't matter you can use the wilson current meter circuit and for that case your output current value will be this one and where beta and beta 3 are the current gains and i reference is the reference current 
So in this way, we can solve the Wilson current meter circuit. Hopefully you have enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching the video.